If you browse some of the websites devoted to alternative medicine, you'll come across scary headlines about LEDs. These all stem from the belief that light in the blue part of the spectrum causes medical problems, everything from insomnia to promoting macular degeneration. And LEDs are supposedly a major source of blue light. One website we found claimed that LED bulbs are almost exclusively emitters of predominantly blue light. It also claimed that LED bulbs that put out a more balanced spectrum are generally too expensive for household use. Sounds scary, but it's wrong, at least as far as we can determine. We tend to be skeptical of pronouncements coming from the alternative medicine crowd. So we decided to run our own tests of LEDs. It's not difficult to check claims about the wavelengths of LED output. To do so, we obtained a light meter designed for use by architects and room lighting specialists who need to set light levels. We then added an optical bandpass filter which only passes light in the blue wavelength range, about 450 to 490 nanometers. To decide what LED bulbs to check, we went to Consumer Reports. As with other product categories, they rank LED bulbs. So for samples, we used five 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs that Consumer Reports puts at the top of its rankings. They included bulbs from Slovenia, Philips, and EcoSmart made by Fite. We also got a hold of two incandescent 60 watt bulbs, one with frosted glass and the other without. For testing, we put each bulb in a completely dark room and measured its illuminance into the light meter sitting one foot away, with and without the blue bandpass filter. That let us calculate the percentage of blue light in the light coming from each of them. Well, no big surprise. All of the 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs we measured had less than 2% of their output in the blue light range. That's a long way from being emitters of predominantly blue light, as claimed by one of the websites we looked at. Moreover, both of the incandescent lights also had 2% of their output in the blue wavelength range. And lest you think we tested super pricey bulbs that few people can afford, one of our Sylvania bulbs cost a little over a dollar on Amazon. To give the alternative medicine crowd the benefit of the doubt, we also tested an old LED bulb that came out before the Department of Energy held its L Prize event in 2011. The L Prize is credited with kicking LED bulb development into high gear. So we reasoned that perhaps bulbs made before 2011 had the problematic blue light output. But the results were the same. We had one pre-2011 LED bulb on hand for testing. It too emitted less than 2% of its output in the blue wavelengths. Now the one thing we have to say is that the five bulbs at the top of the consumer reports list all put out relatively warm light. There are others whose light is colder in the 3100 to 4500 Kelvin range. We may check a few of those as well and report on what we find, but so far it looks as though you're no worse off lighting your rooms with LEDs than with ordinary incandescent bulbs. And that really sheds a light on that problem. And for more teardown videos like this one, visit eeworldonline.com.